Welcome to the SQL Server Fast Execution Plan video training presented by Hugo Cornelis. The basic level of Block 2 described how the various data access operators work on on disk row store data. Functionally, scan, seek, and lookup operators do the same things on other types of storage. But because the architecture of those other storage types is significantly different, the internals of how the data is accessed are quite different. That's why the advanced level covers all the other storage types currently available in SQL Server. In Chapter 1 we discuss how column store indexes are organized. Using this knowledge we then show, using animated slides as well as demos, what happens when a scan operator targets a column store index. There is no support for seeks on column stores, but there is for lookups, so we cover the internals of that case too. Chapter 2 has a similar structure, but now for the various types of memory optimized data. We once more first show how the data is stored internally, and then use that knowledge to illustrate how scan and seek operators navigate this data when they target memory optimized data. We also talk about memory optimized column store indexes, the amalgamation of the previous chapter and this one, and we end the chapter with a discussion on the pros and cons of natively compiled stored procedures. The third chapter then covers various other index types. Filtered indexes use the same architecture as regular non-clustered indexes, but they only store index entries for a subset of the data in a table. As such, they can only be used when the optimizer is convinced that all data it needs will be included in the filtered index. Both XML indexes and spatial indexes are internally stored as regular clustered and non-clustered indexes on special internal tables that store highly optimized representations of either XML fragments or of spatial objects. Finally, full text indexing uses components that are effectively external to SQL Server, which is why you cannot see many details of the internals in the execution plan. Chapter 4 focuses on reading data in parallel execution plans and in batch mode execution plans. We first illustrate how the parallel page supplier makes scan or seek operators return data to multiple threads in a parallel execution plan, and why in many cases those rows are then immediately repartitioned after they have been read. We then look at how some operators can read and return data directly as batches in a batch mode execution plan, while other operators, depending on SQL Server version, can only return data in row mode. This then necessitates a hidden execution mode adapter to convert the data from rows to batches, or vice versa. The last chapter shows a few read optimizations. We explain mechanisms such as read ahead reading and advanced scans that can reduce the amount of physical reads for large scans. We then also show how dynamic range seeks are used when the range for a seek operator is computed elsewhere in the execution plan, and how the merge interval operator ensures that no performance is lost and no incorrect data is returned when those ranges might potentially overlap. Finally, we show how scan and seek operators are affected when a table or index is partitioned and how this might increase or decrease their performance. With a total playtime of almost 3 hours, there is of course much more to this level than I can show in this preview. I hope this preview has shown enough to convince you why you need to watch this level completely.